All right, what I'm going to do now is use the machine and demonstrate, uh, well, how it's used uh, to pick up uh, uh, some pallets off this stack here. Um, probably not the situation you have. You're probably in a warehouse with racking, that type of thing. Uh, but I just want to demonstrate how maneuverable this thing is. Now, I've got it set up and I've given myself, you know, about the average width of a, of a warehouse aisle. Uh, approximately nine feet. Some are bigger, some are uh, narrower, but we'll just use that. And you'll get a good idea of how maneuverable, how tight this thing can, uh, can turn. And really, you know, getting yourself in position to pick up a load, which is one of the trickiest things to do with any uh, forklift, and particularly these things because of the, that tight turning um, uh, ability of them. All right, now as I approach the stack here, um, I'm going to actually get a little closer than the stack than I normally would with another type of forklift, like a counterbalance machine, uh, because I know that as this thing turns, basically pivots in the center, my left side, which is your right side from where you're looking, is going to actually swing away from the stack. So it may look like I'm approaching things too close to the stack, but actually this is about right. So right about here, I'm going to start a sharp turn in, and you can see how I've got myself in position, basically straight with the stack right there. Right, I'm in nice position to pick up these, these pallets. All right, so I'm gonna stay right here, okay? And I'm gonna raise up. I know I've got you know a certain amount of room up there. I just be careful that I don't uh, raise right into the, uh, the rafters or the lights. I wanna take a big enough bite so that my backrest is uh, engaging. So let's say right there I'll go in now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sneak in as close to this load as I can, but what I have to watch here is that my base legs don't run into the, to the load. Okay, so I'm gonna get as close as I can, right? Because see, the reach mechanism, if I reach in from here, it won't quite make it in. So right there is about, well, see, I should actually sneak in a little more than that. Now, see, now I've taken my foot off of the function label of the dead man, so I'm locked in place here. Right, so now I can reach in, okay, remember that, that means I'll push that top button and push the uh, joystick forward. And hopefully I do get all the way in here, because that's as close as I get. Well, you can see I'm not in as much as I'd like to be. I'd like to get a little closer, but I can't, right? My, uh, my base legs will hit the load. So I'm going to just basically pretend that this is a really heavy load. And what I would normally do then is I would pick it up, and I just pick it up a bit. Okay, and I'm actually going to retract it, okay? Back out just a bit. That much is all I need. Now I'm going to lower it again. Okay, now I'm going to reach in until I get a good full grip of that load. Because if it's heavy, I want to get my forks all the way in. Nice and gentle. There we go. See there? I'm, I'm right up to the heel of my fork now. So what I'm going to do is lift. Now, here's something different as well. Uh, with other types of forklifts, let's say a counterbalance machine, you'd be told to lift, then tilt, look behind and back out if it's clear. Now, oftentimes, since you're in warehouse racking, which we're not here, but if we were, it's so tight sometimes that you actually have to retract first and get clear of your racking, then tilt back, because you simply don't have the room, okay? Here we do have the room, so I am going to tilt back, all right? And that's my middle button on my joystick, pull back. Just a bit of back tilt is all we need. That's good. Then I'm going to continue on retracting. I like to retract completely. Now, what I'd like to do is back straight away from this stack if I have the room, right? And as soon as I do, lower it down, right? But I'm pretty tight here, so I may not have that room. So I'm going to back out. Now again, look to the rear, right? Because that's where you're going. Look back at your load. Go back out of there. Let's see if I can, there we go. That's as far as I need to go. I'm gonna lower it down. And as I come down, remember I'm being aware of not lowering this load onto my load wheels, right? Because I wanna leave room to travel. So I'm gonna leave it right about there, all right? Now, I prefer to travel so that I don't have an obstructed vision. There's a lot of stuff in front of me here, right? There's this grating, the backrest, the works of the mast, the load itself. Right? So I'm going to reverse myself out of here. All right? So I'm going to be going this way, so that's the way I'll look. And I can turn really tight. And there we go. Probably lower that a little more, actually. Now, I always have to be aware. Notice what I'm doing here is I'm looking out, but I'm always under my, my overhead guard here. I'm just going to lower that down a bit more. That's probably all I can go. 
All right, so what I'll do is I'll just back out of here and then put it back. Start my turn about there. And I'm just gonna back up a bit here just to get straight. All right, I'm gonna raise up. This is as high as I need to be, that should do it. Now, remember, if I were in a warehouse rack that was really tight right now, I'd tilt level now, right, before I go in, because again, it might be so tight that it just won't fit. All right, but that's not my situation here, so I'm gonna use the room since I have it. So, once again, I'm gonna just drive in here. Mm -hmm. 